afternoon lads and lassies, the Irish Demon here, back with another video. Did you know that the very best way to show somebody that you are definitely not triggered is to make a video showing how triggered you are? Now I know, I know, I said I wouldn't cover Daniel Pratt anymore, but I can't not, it's too funny. Anyway, basically, just to, before we go on, uh, and this isn't a sob story, Daniel Pratt, but anyway, let me just explain the situation with the channel. Um, so this channel, I'm gonna continue to cover, you know, flat earth, conspiracy shit, all that kind of stuff. This channel's fucked anyway, so I don't care if YouTube nuke it, so I'll just do whatever. Uh, the other channel is gonna be more serious things, you know, a little bit different, some Karen stuff, that kind of thing. And then my other, other channel is going to be centered around travel and history and uh, like I'll be doing some demonstrations and things. As you guys know, I do a little bit of carving and all that stuff. So I got some new cheap carving knives. I wanted to buy the cheapest, decent knives that I could uh, to do some demonstrations to show somebody that they can have a hobby uh, without it being too expensive. And it's a great hobby for during lockdown. It's extremely therapeutic. It's very meditative. Um, so it's something I highly recommend if you're fairly tactile, you know, if you're pretty good with your hands and, and you kind of need a little bit of better vision than what I have. My vision isn't great. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be doing some videos on that stuff. Uh, I just got a handmade Viking knife, uh, which is on the way right now from Scandinavia. So I'm excited as fuck to show you guys that. Anyway, Daniel Pratt. Daniel Pratt has got some stuff to say about all of us and it is, uh... There's a lot of irony in it. Let's see if you can spot the irony in some of these comments. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be abundantly obvious. Um, but anyway, here goes. Morning, folks. You know, I just find it amusing, these talk show wannabes, these people that think they're so interesting and entertaining and people really want to hear their opinions. All right, so just straight off the bat, I'm sorry to come in so early. Um, a guy who has a channel of about 200 people, one of which is InRem and a few other morons, and the vast majority of people that watch his videos are just there to laugh, is telling us that all of you guys um, have no interest in watching what I'm saying. You don't think I'm interesting, you don't think I'm funny, you don't think, you know, Team or Fight or any of those boys are funny or interesting. Despite the combined millions of views that we all have, I'm a small fish, but... I've still got about a half a million, maybe a million views. I'm not sure. Something like that. Um, so let us know down below. Or, oh, wait, no, you can't. You're all chatbots. You all don't exist, right? So just let us know down below that you don't exist. Jesus. Moving on. You could say, Dan, you do the same thing. Yeah, I put them out, but... At least for once in your life, you can admit that you are indeed a hypocrite then. I don't beg for people to like, share, and subscribe, and... Because, you know, nobody would or care. Join my Patreon, and donate this, donate that. I don't have a personal tragedy every other week. Dude, you are the tragedy. That I have to tell people about. To try to elicit sympathy donations. Now, have I been in tough jams in the past and asked for help? Yes. Ask for help to move from Texas to here. So again, with the hypocrisy, I don't hide the fact that yes, I do ask for people to join my Patreon. I do ask for people to help me out on PayPal if they want to support the channel. That's because I put a lot of work into my videos. You don't. You just sit there and cry all day, which is kind of sad. Uh, I'm trying to build a brand here. I don't hide that. I want to do this as my job. I fucking love doing this. Of course, it does again go against your narrative that I'm paid by NASA to make these videos, which is hilarious. I wish I was. I wish you were right. I really, really do. If you know somebody at NASA who can hook me up, then please let me know. But yeah, I don't hide the fact. And you know, now that you've mentioned it, thank you, Daniel. As you guys know, this channel was demonetized. So if you do want to support this channel and stick it to Daniel, you can send a 10 cent or whatever, a two cent uh, PayPal donation on behalf of Daniel Pratt to me, and I will give it to some nice homeless guy on the street or something like that. Or you can become a Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Thank you so much. Moving on. People saw me move from Texas to here. We've established and been here ever since. <clears throat> so I put out that video yesterday regarding the appliance repair visitors we had. I have three eyewitnesses to it. They have no reason to lie. And immediately Irish douchebag has to jump out and, and give his two cents because he's like a sewing circle, circle gossip bitch. That's all these people are. They're like little junior high girls that run around gossiping about other men. 
Ah, the hypocrisy. <laughs> that, that's literally what you're doing about me. I don't hide it. I don't care. I think it's fun. But <laughs> it's so funny. You're like, I can't believe this guy I'm gossiping about is gossiping about people. I, <laughs> this guy has no self-awareness whatsoever, man. I didn't listen to any of his video. I didn't even watch it. I just saw the title and saw him being deceptive just in the title. I think Danny O's telling porky pies, little scampy fries over here. You did watch the video, and I'll tell you how I know you watched the video. The comment that I pinned that you deleted, which is hilarious. I can make Daniel do exactly what I want every time. Every time he makes a comment, I pin it, he immediately deletes it. He will comment on this video. Or maybe he won't now because I've told him he's going to, but he will comment on this video. I will then pin the comment and he will then immediately delete it because he's afraid of anybody confronting him because he's a bitch. But anyway, that's besides the point. So he commented on my video. I don't have a screenshot of it. A lot of you saw it because a lot of you responded to it. He commented on my video uh, and mentioned stuff that was in the video that wasn't in the description or in the title. So that means that you definitely did watch my video. The same as Nathan Thompson. He claims that he didn't watch a video that I put out a while back, but he absolutely did because some of the things he referenced in the, in the live stream only happened in the video. So anyway, let's hear what he has to say again and we'll bring it back. I didn't listen to any of his video. I didn't even watch it. I just saw the title and saw him being deceptive just in the title. So I know it's the usual bullshit him just making assumptions and not knowing what the hell he's talking about. In his title, it says, claims he's being bugged. Um, the appliance repairman never entered my home, so how could they have bugged me? I simply pointed out these are the exact type of tactics law enforcement use in things called a parallel construction. It's a known tactic and the fact that you people want to act like it's not plausible and totally normal that two separate appliance repairmen would show up within two hours to someone's house. That's totally normal to you people. You're fucking insane, Irish douchebag. Maybe that's what I'll call my new channel, Irish douchebag. How about that? Anyway, let's look at the facts here, okay? So somebody has been uh, sending Daniel Pratt... Um, you saw it, like the, the, the penis card and some other stuff apparently, and has obviously been sending people to his house, fridge repairmen, etc. I've heard a few people mention other things. I'm not so sure. It's got nothing to do with me. I can tell you that for sure. But anyway, he's had all these people come to his house or whatever. So he doesn't put it down to the fact that he gave out his, his private information on the internet and as a result, people are now sending him funny things in the mail. No, it couldn't be that. It has to be some crazy law enforcement conspiracy. Just look at the two options here. You're receiving, you know, dick cards and other stuff in the mail. And then these guys show up at your house to, you know, it's obviously a prank of some description. But no, you go for the conspiracy route, which is that it's obviously the CIA or law enforcement. It's just, the, imagine having to live like this with this constant conspiratorial mindset. It must be exhausting, man. And that's why people are starting to see what you really are. A mouthpiece that speaks nothing about facts and simply has personal tragedy after personal tragedy, supposedly, to elicit sympathy donations from your viewers. Because that's all you clowns care about. I also was blessed with listening to a live stream between Twink Septic, Irish Deuce Bag, and um, likes to get it up his plot hole. And all they could do is sit around and, once again, talk about how I don't repair my door frame. I can't tell you how much joy it brings me that he's talking about the door frame again. Because what you don't realize, Daniel, is that we keep mentioning the door frame because it is so inconsequential. It means nothing. It makes no difference whatsoever. Nobody actually cares about your door frame. I hope you realize that. What we're pointing out is that by us continuing to mention your door frame, it triggers you into actually making videos about it. I think that is just amazing that your brain thinks that we actually care about your door frame. 
There's unfinished shit in my house too. There's unfinished shit in everybody's house. Nobody cares about your door frame. But what I have done is I've put together an instructional video for you to show you how you can fix that door frame. I was at my friend's house the other day and I noticed that there was a little bit of door trim uh, with a bit of an issue. So I decided that now is a good time for me to fix it using Daniel Pratt's methods and I will record it for you so that you will be able to fix your door frame when you get a chance. Here it goes. Okay, folks, well, I'm here at my friend's house, and uh, as you can see, there's a slight deficiency with the uh, door trim here. Uh, so I'm going to fix this uh, in the same way that I imagine Daniel Pratt would fix his door trim. Fixed it. And babble on about how, oh, if I took pride in where I lived, um, that's a non-functional decorative piece of a garage. Why would I care that some former tenant let their dog chew it up? I'm willing to bet that it was you that chewed it up. Talk about how, oh, if I had pride in where I lived, I would take care of things. Let's see, I've installed a dishwasher. Nobody cares. I've changed the belt in the dryer. Nobody cares. I've changed the heating element in the oven. Nobody cares. I take plenty of pride in where I live, in the things that are functional. Nobody cares. And not decorative, and I don't care crap about. They don't affect the function of the home at all. Nobody cares. And I'm the only one that spends time out here in the garage. Nobody cares. It doesn't bother me in the least, but it really seems to bother these guys. Nobody cares. They can't ever prove their globe, but they can go on and on about my door frame. The fact that you fall for this obvious trolling on our side is just hilarious. And you can't turn around and say, Oh, you're just now saying that it's trolling. I've said this in loads of videos before. We are directly trolling you and you are just taking the bait every single time. But just please, just fix your door trim. Take some pride in where you live, okay? Fix the door trim, Daniel. Because once again, they're gossiping little bitches that wouldn't know the first thing about science so they can't prove their globe. So all they can do is sit around and gossip about other people. He says while sitting around gossiping about other people. <laughs> Their other excuse of, oh, it's funny that you think you're so important that the government would even be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, because the gov government is so unconcerned about flat earth. Once again. They had to take time to hold congressional hearings to demand that social media censor and stifle the flat earth movement that was growing out of con their control. Again, Simon Dan showed that this is absolute nonsense. Flat earth as a whole thing, just the interest was lost in it just about a year ago. Uh, and if you look at the statistics on Google about people who have looked up flat earth, uh, more people have looked up pubic hair than have looked up flat earth. So it just goes to show you how few people actually care about it. Now, there is one thing. He is right. They did talk about this at Congress. They were talking about this. They lumped it in with QAnon and all these other conspiracy theories, uh, COVID conspiracies, all that kind of stuff to try to quell that kind of you know, movement of false information. I don't think flat earth really matters. It's just, I think they identified that most flat earthers are also crazy conspiracy theorists that are actually kind of dangerous. Flat earth in and of itself is not dangerous, but it does lead to other conspiracies and, you know, what we're seeing on screen right now. And I'm not talking about me. So yeah, I can understand why they've done that. Now, I'm kind of with Daniel on this one. I don't think that they should be censoring this kind of stuff because it affects me too. Look what it's done to my channel and others. So yeah, I'm with them on that. They shouldn't be stopping it. If people want to look shit up, they should be able to look shit up. Um, but then again, you know, as much as I have issues with YouTube, it is hashtag a private platform, I guess. So they do have the power to do that if they want to. And if Congress want to push to stop that kind of information from being on social media, you voted them in, not me. So maybe people discussing Flat Earth are important to the government. Otherwise, why would they hold congressional hearings to try to stop people from talking about it? You people, once again, have zero logic to back up your position and absolutely zero science to back up your glow. That's why, once again, you're a bunch of sewing circle ninny little bitches 
that sit around and gossip about other men and think it makes you look noble and manly and stuff. <laughs> no, that's why you're weak ass little t and you're terrified of the truth I speak so you gotta sit around and gossip and try to make me look like the worst person that ever walked the flat earth yeah literally nobody is afraid of you I still think that this guy is gonna end up as a news headline at some stage mark my words it is it is inevitable with this kind of frame of mind and thinking that everybody's against them and blah 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 it's only a matter of time, just saying. <laughs> You're clowns. It is hilarious watching you talk about me. Always. Just keep talking about me, princesses. Because we know you'll damn sure never do anything to prove your glow that doesn't exist. So, enjoy. Run around and get, get all your little gossip out there. So enjoy, run the couch, get your girl got about there. Real good Englishing there, bud. What you'll never do is prove me wrong, or the flat earth wrong. Oh, that's been done to death. We're just content with laughing at you at this point. That's what you fucking bitches don't seem to understand. You look like exactly what you are. A bunch of gossiping little girls. Have fun. Well, that's terribly kind of you. I definitely will have fun. Don't you worry. So yeah, let's talk about the hypocrisy of all this. Oh, they're just gossiping about me. I think five of his last six videos have me in them. You love me that much, bro? I mean, it's okay if you do. I know Nathan Thompson does. He admitted it on a live stream that he loves me, bro. <laughs> Oh shit, man. These people are just too funny to not make videos about it. I just, it, it's just too funny. I mean, look. We're never going to save Daniel Pratt from the bullshit of Flat Earth. There's no question about it. He's too far gone. Same with InRam. Same with all those guys. But there's a good chance that somebody might come across one of his videos and be like, oh, this guy's speaking some truth. Let's look him up. And then they find my video or someone else's and realize that this guy's an absolute moron. Anyway, lads and lassies, we're all done for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciate it. Make sure and like, comment, and subscribe if that's okay with you, Daniel Pratt. And if you would like to make a donation in the name of Daniel Pratt, I'll put it all together and give it to somebody who deserves it. And uh, yeah, that'd be a bit of fun. I will make a video where I'd say I would like to donate this on behalf of Daniel Pratt. I'm trying to see what, what would trigger him the most. What? Let me know down below in the comment section what kind of uh, charity will I donate any PayPal donations for Daniel Pratt to that... Oh, wait, we better... <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to go down the road of donations. I know that's a bit of a hot topic, right? <laughs> I just thought this is just for fun. So don't stress too much about it. Uh, but seriously, though, um, let me know what charity you think would um, would trigger him the most. And uh, we'll do that. Probably LGBTQ charity or something like that. So let's have fun with all of that. Um, and yeah, if you want to annoy him even more and make me real happy, you can go over and become a Patreon. I can just see him getting triggered even thinking about this. He'll claim he didn't watch this video, but obviously he does, seeing as he knows about my Patreon and stuff like that. So yeah, head over. You can become a Patreon for as little as $1 a month, and uh, it helps to keep the... Jesus Murphy, what was that? Something went down the wrong hole, as the actress said to the bishop. But anyway, yeah, you can go help out the channel that way if you like. But if you can't, that's fine. Just leave a comment down below or reply to somebody's comment. Have a bit of fun in the, the uh, comment section. It all goes a long way towards helping the channel. Lads and lassies, thank you so much. Gurv Mila Mahagat and Slancha.